Hey everybody, my name is John Huey. I'm National Security Officer with Microsoft Canada, and today I'm really excited to talk to you about cybersecurity for small and medium Canadian businesses. I have a bunch of friends and family members who actually run small and medium businesses, so I know how important this is. You probably have small and medium businesses that you know, are operated by your friends and family, and so this stuff is important to you as well. Many cybercrime and cyber types of attacks are now targeting uh, those small and medium businesses. And on average, certain studies have indicated that a breach for an SMB costs somewhere in the range of about $120,000. Those are big numbers for a small organization. In some cases, we've seen small businesses actually go out of business as a result of a breach. Statistics Canada in 2017 released the first ever survey of uh, cybercrime impact on Canadian organizations. And one of the things that I thought was important to share here was just the impact uh, across those different segments of organizations. So almost 20% of small organizations reported experiencing a cybersecurity incident. That's changed uh, in the last couple of years, and that's a growing number. On the medium side, it was 28% of medium-sized organizations uh, reported uh, being impacted by that cybersecurity incident. Today's IT environments for small, medium businesses is challenging. Business has changed. You're not using fax machines. You're not using paper as much as you used to. You know, you certainly uh, likely adopted new technology. You have you know employees that want to work from everywhere. You want to make them more productive. They're mobile. You probably have more demands to service your customers in terms of engaging with those customers. Uh, you know, doing things electronically like like providing invoices and ordering. And in the past, you know, you probably had a set of PCs, maybe some servers, you may have had a few phones, maybe a firewall and some antivirus software to protect that. When you have everything digital and you're probably leveraging cloud services, those security strategies just don't cut it anymore. One of the key recommendations that we have is simply to run modern devices and keep them up to date. You know, Surface and Windows 10 is one example of that. We made major innovations with Windows and Windows 10 around securing the operating system and creating a great productivity experience. The same thing applies to older Android devices, iOS and iPhones. You know, you need to be running, you know, modern hardware and making sure that the automatic updates are turned on and those devices stay healthy for the long term. You know, one of the uh, rich opportunities for uh, organizations, you're probably doing some of this already, is leveraging cloud services. And Microsoft, with Office 365 Business Premium, has that productivity set of capabilities in the cloud, as well as those security capabilities that let you secure your devices, whether it's Android, Windows, or iOS and iPhone. One of the key ways that cyber criminals will attack small medium organizations is through email through something that we typically see and we call it phishing so it's a lure it is an email that's crafted in a way to trick you to do something that they want you to do and typically they want you to either click a link in there that takes you to a website that does something malicious to your device or they try to get you to open an attachment that it's, is attached there there are also a set of capabilities in that Office 365 Business Premium that um, you can uh, look at to provide those additional protections for email, to be able to look for those malicious attachments, to be able to highlight those links and say, you know, oh, by the way, those uh, links are malicious. One of the other areas uh, that we make strong recommendations is getting away from the use of passwords as the single way to authenticate into an environment. And so we all recognize, you know, we have too many accounts, there's too many passwords. Users will typically use the same password across a number of accounts. And so one of the, the first steps we recommend, is probably the number one thing you can do to improve your protection is by implementing what's called multi-factor authentication. There's a number of different ways you can do that. There's certainly an app on the phone called Microsoft Authenticator. Uh, that you configure to use with your accounts. So if somebody steals your account name and password, they still can't log in because they don't have that second factor that you have on your phone. Another alternative to that is to use Windows Hello uh, as a capability in Windows 10, facial recognition to log in. I don't even need to enter my password. Users love it. It's easy, it's faster than entering your password, and it's much more secure. The other key thing that you know, all organizations need to do is to create and grow a culture of security across the organization. It's not just the IT person's job to secure uh, your, your small, medium organization. It's everyone's responsibility. 
So just a couple tricks that we certainly use to guide our employees and train our employees here at Microsoft. You know, one of the tricks is to hover over that URL uh, to make sure that, that uh, it is what you, know, you think it is. Don't click on links uh, for you know, open attachments from unknown senders, just you know, even if it looks really, really interesting. Be careful of those types of things. Often the people that propagate these types of attacks, they live in other countries, maybe their grammar, their English, their French, their spelling errors. Look out for those types of things. Is the contact information or is the brand and the logos, uh, whether it's a bank, uh, is that look accurate? Does it look a little uh, weird in the email? Those are signals that this might not be uh, legitimate. Pay close attention to the email address and then, you know, if it's too good to be true, you know, it probably is. Finally, just in regards to uh, financial transactions, we've seen many, many successful attacks where uh, someone in the organization was unfortunately duped into sending or, or making a payment to an area or a bank account that was controlled by an attacker. And we would highly recommend everybody, uh, especially in the small medium uh, space, if you don't have extra verification procedures on your financial payment processes, really recommend that you, uh, you consider looking at that. One of the new resources that's available for small medium businesses that has been developed by the government of Canada is a new, what's called Cyber Secure Canada. And this is a set of guidance and recommendations for how to secure your organization, which is actually published by the Canadian Center for Cybersecurity, the go-to uh, smart people in government around cybersecurity. Microsoft has a number, a huge number of partners, great partners here in Canada. One of the ones I wanted to highlight here is, is Bulletproof. They have an offering called uh, Bulletproof 365. They work uh, a lot with small, medium businesses to help you get set up in the cloud, help you get securely set up in the cloud. And then if you want them on an ongoing basis to help you manage the cloud uh, and the security within the cloud of your ongoing operations, they can do that too. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you found those tips and those tricks really valuable. My name is John Huey, National Security Officer at Microsoft Canada. Let's stay safe out there.